Hey, this is Chris uh, with another SQL Minute, and in this episode, I want to talk about Offset and Fetch Next and show you how you can use those two clauses in your order by to kind of dig into a result and pull out just a subset of the rows that are being returned. So let's start with a query, and I'll show you what I mean. So we're going to start out with one query here, and fetch all the rows from person and order by last name. So this returns 19,972 rows. Now what we're going to do is add on to the order by uh, two additional clauses, a fetch and a fetch next, and they're going to allow us to go down so many rows into the result and then fetch uh, just a couple rows past that. And to show you what I mean, I created a little um, diagram here. So the offset is going to tell us how many rows to go down from the start. So in this case, we're offsetting 10 and we'll be starting at row 11. And then the fetch next is just bring me back the next five rows or fetch next 10 rows. So instead of as uh, SQL's default behavior is to fetch everything to the bottom of the, the result, we're just going to say just bring back the next couple rows and then call it quits. So when I go in and do a um, offset, I'm going to show you something real quick here. As you see, we have 19,000 some rows. I'm going to show you how when I just do a uh, fetch, I'm going to offset it by 1,000 rows. When I run this, this, this number should come out to be 18,000 something. Whoops, I had it highlighted. So there we go, and you can see now it's 18,000 something. So uh, we actually skipped ahead to uh, row uh, 1,100 and then output from there. So the next step in our evolution here will be to show you how to, let's say, fetch the next 10 rows. So what, let's say I want to just um, eventually fetch down to Baker here. So what I can do is add another clause to the end of my statement, which says fetch the next 10 rows only. So now when I run this, I should expect to see only 10 rows. And when I do run it, there you do. See, I have only 10 rows. Before we wrap up, I think it's important for you to understand that you can uh, cause your SQL to throw an error if you use the wrong offset value. If you use an offset value of a negative one, you will throw an error. In other cases, um, offset and fetch will um, maybe start at the beginning of the result or in some cases not return any rows. So what I would do is at this point pause the video and just study the table and make sure that you understand the conditions and what the results are. All right, well, I hope to see you next week because then we're going to take what we learned today with offset and fetch and apply it to paging. I'm going to teach you how to page through your data using offset and fetch. See you then.